clerk had started with his uncle when he built a motel on the highway far from the city and his businesses. When he came back from the war, his uncle would ask him what he wanted to do. The times were wide open. Even here in the rural south, the possibilities endless. He had tried a complaint-ridden dry-cleaning business, a city hot dog stand. He had run the concession stand at the drive-in theater, all the while drinking, telling stories, watching the town move. First the bowling alley, then the technical college, car lots, a shopping center, then another. Finally a mall, announcing the death of the downtown. Now he watched the fierce metal blades shove dirt everywhere, and he cursed the strip stores, yet marveled at the sudden dramatic bloom that kept the motel full nearly every night. The old clerk talked about depression summers on Edisto with his brother, his uncle, and his father. The strange musical language that was now like a childhood dream. The truck farming venture that started all this action. The old clerk thought of seeds, of black backs bent to the rhythm of heat, of long sandy rows, and how everything grows from what's all but forgotten.